everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J. And as you all can tell by the title in today's video, I'm going to show you all how to do the perfect red lip and share with you all some of my favorite red lip options. So some of these options that I picked out are newer to me and some of them are OGs. But nonetheless, all of them are beautiful. I'm gonna try on all of these lips for you all. But first, I'm gonna share with you all a demonstration on how to get a flawless red lip. Red lips are bold. They definitely take center stage in any look and they always make a statement. So it's important to have your signature red lip. I'm gonna share with you all some of mine. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first step in having the perfect red lip is to have exfoliated, smooth lips. This is the most important step in making any lip color look nice, but especially red. Once you've completed that step, I then like to apply some lip moisturizer. So either a lip balm or a lip gloss and kind of let that sit and marinate and really let your lips retain that moisture so your lips aren't dry before putting on the red lipstick. Mine are good to go. The next step is to get a lip liner. My absolute favorite red lip liner of all time is MAC Cherry. Mine is teeny weeny itsy bitty. It is time for me to buy another one. I actually forgot to pick up another one before I did this video. So we're just gonna have to work with what we have. It's gonna help me shape my lip and also it's gonna help me keep my red lipstick in place throughout the day. Let's go ahead and apply. I just follow right along the edges of my lips. Fill it in a little bit and then smudge it to where it kind of blends itself out. And I'm going to go in with Pat McGrath Elson. And I just apply this right in the center. And voila, that's it. The trick is in the lip liner. Make sure you apply the lip liner as neatly as possible. Get in those corners. Make sure your liner is sharpened properly. You wanna make sure it has that sharp tip to really be able to get in there and define that lip line. MAC Cherry works with all of my favorite reds and it just blends in seamlessly. Beautiful. But I wanna go ahead and show you the rest of my favorite red lipsticks. So I'm gonna try each of them on. So I'm gonna remove this lip color and let's move on to the next one. Next, I'm gonna try on one of my absolute favorites, MAC Ruby Woo. I feel like no lipstick collection is complete without this lipstick. This is a cult favorite. This is one of my very first red lipsticks that I put in my collection. And I feel like everybody looks good in this color. It's definitely a universal color. I love the way Ruby Woo looks on me. It always brightens up my face. I feel like it's a power color, but yet at the same time, I feel like it's a neutral. So I love this color. I love it. If you've never tried Ruby Woo, make sure you go check it out. I believe this is MAC's best-selling lipstick ever. It makes your teeth look so dazzling white. Next from YSL, let's try on number 21, Rouge Paradox. So this one comes like in a square shape and it's meant for you to use the lines of the lipstick for lip liner. I still prefer to use my traditional lip liner because I'm able to be a little bit more precise with it. This formula though. Oh, I love this formula. It is so luxe. And it's already rich. I love this formula and I love this color. This one is definitely more so of a classic red and the first two are blue based reds. So next I'm going to apply Chanel number 38 La Fascinates. So I call this lipstick shade my lucky red because I used to be in pageants and I would always wear this color at some point during the pageant and I would either win or place like very, very high. This is one of my reds that I put on when I need to feel a little bit of luck. This red is a little bit more toned down. I call this one like my grown woman red. It's more subdued, but it still makes an impact and it goes with a lot of different looks. So I really love this color. This lipstick formula is a little bit more sheer than the others that I've applied. You do have to build it up to get to this point, but this one is like a satin and it feels good on the lips. So I really like this color. 
And the other thing that I love about Chanel lipsticks is this. How cute is that, right? Next, I'm going to try on Rouge Louboutin Matte. Very beautiful. So what I love about this lipstick and lipstick formula is it has one swipe color payoff and the formula is so rich and velvety and luscious and I love it. It is so beautiful. It is so intense. It's so opaque. It's so worth the money to me. It's worth every red cent that I paid for because it feels luxurious to me and it it's just amazing. I love the way this formula feels on my lips. Oh, it feels like heaven. I love it. Next, I'm going to try on an hourglass lipstick. I love this formulation of lipsticks. The packaging is so chic too. Like, hello. This one is in the color Secretly. Oh, so good. So this lipstick kind of has sentimental value because I got it when I was in Toronto last summer. I had a really good time in Toronto. I definitely have to make my way back, but this color is my Toronto red. Whenever I'm feeling like jet setting, this is the red that I need to pull out because it's slim, it'll fit in your pockets, and your clutches is perfect. Look how much pigment you get from this little bitty lipstick. If you all have not tried this formulation of lipsticks, you are sleeping. This is amazing. Alright, so the last and only liquid lipstick that made the cut is the Rihanna Stunna Lip Paint in the color Uncensored. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. So here's what it looks like undried, so let's go ahead and let it dry down. So here's what it looks like fully dried down. Now this is a sexy red lip. It's fully matte and I've had people literally chase me down to ask me what is on my lips. I love this formula. This is Rihanna's best lip product in my opinion. It wears well. The color is beautiful. It's easy to work with. I love the applicator. It fits on my lips perfectly. If you have thinner lips, use a lip brush, but this lip formulation is bomb. This is a beautiful red lip that can transition from day to night. I absolutely adore it. All right, so there you have it. Those were my tips and tricks and favorite red lips. Let me know some of you all's favorite red lip colors down in the comment section. Do you prefer a glossy red lip or a matte red lip? Do you like a blue based, neutral, yellow, pinky? What kind of red lip do you like? Let me know down in the comment section. And I will talk to you all in my very next video, which will be super, super soon. Smooches. Bye.